Okay, good evening students and to all my viewers. Well, today, as per our lesson plan, we are going to start net factor income from abroad. This you'll find in page number 36, 37 and 38, chapter 3, okay? <coughs> this is a very interesting topic, so I request all the students to stay with me till the end of the video. Now you see, before we proceed any further, we, you have to keep in mind that factor incomes are earned by Indian residents, not only within India, but also outside India, okay? Okay, so what is net factor income from abroad? Net factor income from abroad is the difference between factor income received from the rest of the world minus factor income paid to the rest of the world. We know that factor income are the incomes generated for rendering your services and that comes in the form of rent, wages, interest and profits. So, factor income received from the rest of the world means the total amount of factor income earned by Indian residents outside India. Or we can also say it is the total amount of money earned by Indians outside India, okay? Minus factor income paid to the rest of the world means the total amount of money earned by non-residents or foreigners in India, okay? Alright, so there are three sources of net factor income from abroad as per your syllabus. The first one is income from work and that will come in the form of compensation of employees all right so let us apply this formula and find out the difference between factor income from the rest of the world and factor income paid to the rest of the world okay so let us assume that an indian doctor who was employed in america earned rupees ten thousand in a year so that is factor income received from the rest of the world minus an American doctor who also was also employed in India and earned rupees 8,000 in a year. So when we minus these two, we got rupees 2,000. So this is your net compensation of employees from abroad. Okay. Number two is income from property and entrepreneurship. This will come in the form of rent interest and profit all right for example an indian resident who owns a shops buildings and factories in america and earn rupees twenty thousand in the form of rent interest and profit that is factor income received from the rest of the world minus an american citizen who also owns a shops buildings and factories in india and earn would be 15,000 in the form of rent, interest, and profit. So when we minus these two, we get would be 5,000, okay? So that is your net income from property and entrepreneurship. And lastly, <coughs> net retained earning of resident companies abroad. This is actually an undistributed profit. When we say undistributed profit means a company after paying all kind of taxes from their profit and distributed shares to the employees that is actually or usually an undistributed profit okay okay so let us take an example an indian companies abroad earn rupees 50000 after paying all taxes from their total profit and after share of the distributed profits to the workers or to the employees, the remaining amount is rupees 50,000 minus, again, an American company in India after paying all kind of taxes and share of distributed profit to the employees, the remaining amount left with them is rupees 60,000. So when we minus these two, by applying this formula, we get minus 10,000, alright? So now, our net factor income from abroad will be 2,000 plus 
5,000 plus, sorry, five, yes, 5,000 minus 10,000, we got minus 3,000, okay? <coughs> now, if you are confused with, with this formula, directly you can also find from here, factor income received from the rest of the world means the total amount of money earned by Indian residents outside India. So, that is 10,000 plus, 20,000 plus, 50,000, it will be rupees 80,000 minus factor income paid to the rest of the world means the total amount of money earned by non-residents or foreigners in India. So, that is 8,000 plus, 15,000 plus, 60,000 is 83,000. So, when we minus 50, 80 to 83,000, the remaining is minus 3,000. So, it's, it is the same thing, okay? Okay, so that is all about net factor income from abroad. Now, you have to remember net factor income from abroad can be positive, negative, and zero. Net factor income from abroad is positive when factor income received from the rest of the world is greater or more than factor income paid to the rest of the world. Number two, net factor income from abroad is negative when factor income received from the rest of the world is less than factor income paid to the rest of the world. And lastly, net factor income from abroad is zero when factor income received from the rest of the world is equal to the factor income paid to the rest of the world. Okay, last, significance. Net factor income from abroad is used for differentiating between national income and domestic income. In order to arrive at national income, we add net factor income from abroad with domestic income. And in order to arrive at domestic income, we minus net factor income from abroad with national income. Okay? So these two formula are is very important, especially for your next chapter. So you should keep that in mind. Okay? So that is all for today. Now I request all of you to go through again and again and if you have any doubts you can always ask me anytime okay all right so that's all for today thank you everyone